Hello everybody, I am Lale and you are watching Artistic Mind. Today in this video I'm going to give you an update on uh, the natural colors painting I did years ago. I think it was less than three years ago, uh, but not really sure. But <laughs> anyways, so uh, the first one I'm going to talk about is this one, which I did with a purple cabbage. What I did, I cooked this purple cabbage and I used the juice in the pan uh, to paint. And as you see, this paint got darker and fade away some, uh, but the color changed too. Uh, so see these dots or the corner of the, this butterfly wings mm, got brownish. So, yeah. And the reason, because this one was hanging on the wall with direct sun shining on it, the, like two years, I think. I finally saw it one day when I was cleaning that room and I said, oh no, and yeah. So don't forget about them. If you, if I would li uh, leave this in a room with no sunlight or, or kind of shady a uh, room, um, I wouldn't get this result. So that's the result of <laughs> neglect and not paying attention. So, yep, let's talk about the other one. The other one I did, I did with beets. So I cooked some beets and I used the juice to paint. And this one really affected really bad. So this one was hanging beside that one in the same room with direct sunlight all the time shining on it. And as you see, this one fade away a lot more than the other one. And the color changed too. So yeah, it's, it, it changes. It looks like an old painting, an old painting, but it's just two or three years old. Shouldn't be like that. So yeah, direct sunlight, uh, a room is really cold, a room that uh, is really hot. Like if you, if I would, uh, I don't have fireplace, but if you have fireplace, you hang something like that above fireplace. Yeah, it's going to change too. So always put them in a place in your house that not much light shining on, on the painting and not much uh, heat or cold, whatever. So you want it in a place that kind of comfortable and cozy, <laughs> not really hot, not really cold and no sunlight. So yeah, this, this been affected and I'm kind of, you know, sad about it, but yeah, I'm going to talk, I wanted to update you guys because a lot of people ask me, um, about um, how these going to go for years and years and years. Yeah, if you take care of them better, you're going to have them for longer years. But I can work on these and, um, you know, make the paint pop out again, the color. But um, we'll see. So the reason I'm going to tell you this, because I want to show you this one. This one I did with turmeric and coffee. And as you see, the color is still really bright and not much fade away, you know. So, yeah, this one was in my kitchen. Um, I uh, leaned this uh, against the wall on my counter and... You know, I, I don't know, <laughs> because I think I painted this with coffee. I put this uh, close to my coffee maker, kind of looking at it every day. And um, yeah, so this one survived and it's better. A little bit, I, I can tell on the turmeric because yellow one parts are turmeric. It's fade away a little bit, but it's still really, really in really good shape. So when I put these beside each other, let me put this in the middle and put this here and that one here. Yeah, you can tell. Let me zoom out a little bit so you can see better. So yeah, you can see the colors are, you know, they're not bad, but I just not that bright color purple I had on this one and not that bright uh, pink magenta color. And this one so it changed you know and uh, yeah so if you put it uh, in a experience shows this now if you put this your painting natural color paintings in a place that is no sunlight and direct shining on them you're gonna have it for years and years and years and of course you know uh, the framing helps too I'm sure if I didn't have framing on these they would be probably nothing left really out of them one of the uh, things you have to always pay attention to, even when, when you paint with chemical paint, uh, like anything, you know, any paint you buy, 
from factory, uh, they usually, uh, you have to take care of them too. So uh, they fade away too, or they crack or get bad. So you don't um, always have these guidelines for the just natural paint. You do that to any paint. Uh, for example, like watercolor is one of those paints that fade away really fast if you put it in a direct sunlight. But uh, any other color, like have more body, like um, oil paint or acrylic paint, they last longer, but they may crack or they may uh, lose that shine of or brightness of the color. So pay attention to all of them. Don't ne neglect your artwork. I did. And it's the result. So I'm going to have, uh, when I'm uh, done with this, explanation i'm gonna have each one um side by side a picture of the time i finished the painting and uh, um, to see for you guys to see how much it really changed and uh, you have a better understanding of it so um i uh, see you guys in my next video and i hope i give you enough information to consider in your next project all right love you all bye